right. Uh, karibu sana. It's another segment. Well, of course, today is Tuesday. We get to do Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My name is Karanja Alex. You can interact with us on our social media platforms at Y254 channel, of course, on Twitter. Keep us posted. And as we keep you posted on the latest that is happening and that are coming up. So this morning, I'm joined by Moz Max, the, yeah. me, the name of the media group. But your name is Moz Mwaneki. Yeah. The CEO of Mosmax, of course, is together with us this morning. We'll get to see what he does, really, what exactly he's aiming at, and what probably he has been through all the way, the challenge that has been through. So, Karibu Sana. Thank you very much. I don't want to begin introducing you. Alafu ni mess up. Uh, Introduce yourself. <laughs> so, my name is uh, Mos Moniki. Yes, Mos. I'm the CEO and founder of Mosmax Media Group. Mm -hmm. So, what we do is uh, create content, yes. profile, uh, artists and public figures mm -hmm. uh, or with a very uh, good name is uh, they are called influencers right so we provide their <coughs> content and on the other side we work with corporates creating mm -hmm. their content uh, since content is king all right uh, we make the king all right that's yeah. more for you and you have so much lined up ahead and uh, when i was looking at his profile it's quite an engaging profile that really details a lot and most uh, probably just to begin with most made most marks mm -hmm. Is it a corporation of persons? Is it a group that incorporates yeah. people? Uh, so most, most Max Media Group, uh -huh. uh, the vision was to have uh, many production targeted on different content mm -hmm. under one roof. Yes. So most Max Media Group is a private company right. uh, registered in Kenya. So the vision is to change the phase of content creation and mm -hmm. content consumption mm -hmm. in Kenya. Because when we were starting, we had so many ideas. And as a third world country or a country in Africa, we are very lucky to be able to be benchmarking or from other developed uh, <coughs> countries. So you kind of borrow that yes, and, yes. and localize it. Mm -hmm. So, and then target different uh, demographics depending uh, on the reception of different content. Because what the youth will consume yes, is yes. different from what uh, younger guys will consume. Definitely. Uh, yeah. You mentioned about we. Mm -hmm. Is this a group of persons? I say we because mm -hmm. it can never be most max with yes. just me. It's mm -hmm. about the clients, it's about the team that I mm -hmm. work with. So that's why I say we. You began the company alone or you had yes, other yes, persons? Yes, sure, sure. So they just came along later on? Yes. How did you begin most max media as by itself? So it's a very, it's a, it's a journey, it has been a journey, because I started off as a freelancer. Mm -hmm. uh, shortly after uh, my, my, my uh, tertiary level education, right. I did uh, 3D animation film and uh, multi -product, uh, multimedia. Mm -hmm. So, but I focused more on multimedia. Right. And so got again into photography. I had mm -hmm. a keen interest in photography. Uh, and a path opened to be able to work with and engage with different media houses and mm -hmm. production houses. So then from that, mm -hmm. I thought and said, if I can be able to do this for others, why not for a thing that is made by me or mm -hmm. started by me? Mm. And that's how uh, most Max made it. What group. defines yeah. your quality? Because according to you, you mm -hmm. produce something quality for your clients. Yeah. What defines quality? Quality defines, uh, what defines quality is uh, not just the clarity of the content, but the, f the, the, the purpose. Mm -hmm. Has it served the purpose that it was intended for? Yes. Once the client comes to us and they feel that their purpose has been served, mm -hmm. uh, that's how we feel, uh, that's what quality is. Yes, you yes. can have all the, be the, be the, the best cameras, you can have the best pictures, but if they don't serve the purpose, mm -hmm. then you'll be scoring be below what is expected. So today we talk about entrepreneurs and you're one among them. Yep. And I, I want to probably ask you, uh, entrepreneurs begin because they see a particular gap in mm -hmm. a particular industry, mm -hmm. a particular place. What yeah. gap did you see? The gap I saw is, uh, was, was, was a direct relationship uh, the gap I saw mm -hmm. was inspired by frustration. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, sitting down and listening to different people 
and also going for networking events and everything, there was this gap mm -hmm. that big agencies take too long to deliver. Mm -hmm. And also, there is <coughs> there's so much bureaucracy. Mm -hmm. Like, if, even if it's for a short, like, maybe a, a profile picture of a CEO, mm -hmm. they'll take days for the brief to and, for, uh, to and fro emails. So why don't we simplify mm -hmm. the process mm -hmm. so that it's easier for, for the client even to give us more jobs and also to be able to have a good, you know, a good view of, how, uh, of content. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I'll give you an example of what made us uh, get into the market very well. Yes. There was this challenge called Mannequin Challenge, uh -huh. where corporates uh -huh. used to uh, nominate uh, each other mm -hmm. and have uh, a take on the challenge. And you know, for like uh, a challenge online, mm -hmm. uh, it's relevant for about three to four days. Mm -hmm. So let's say even a week, that challenge is gone. Yeah. Uh, you have seen so many challenges coming up. So within a week, it's gone. Mm -hmm. So if you take time, like if there was one company that had been nominated by a, 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 competing, uh, a competitor to like take on the Man Queen Challenge. Mm -hmm. So when they briefed their agency to come and conduct that, it took days. So, and once you have been nominated and people are expecting some feedback from mm -hmm. you, because your competitors, mm. so you can lose out on, uh, on, on followers or even clients in, in, in the middle of that. Because it's about, you know, the, 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 the game. Like who is there? Yes, yes. Yeah, who is, the, who, who is, the, who is bigger than the other? Uh -huh. So we were able to undertake that in a day. All right. Yeah. How, how was it engaging, you know, when you're dealing with time? Because time to a client really matters. It matters uh -huh. because it's about, like, like, let's say for a conference. Uh -huh. If today you are covering a conference, you mm -hmm. need content in real time. You need those photos in real time. You need those videos in real mm -hmm. time to communicate what is going on. Yes. So if, or even so if you are launching a product mm -hmm. and you start posting a day after, it, that is, it is not relevant anymore mm -hmm. because you need, on, you need it on uh, real time. Yes. So one of our mantras is uh, rapid delivery. <coughs> so wh what exactly you're saying? You don't on you do not only deal with uh, something like uh, only the profiles. You also do live streaming. Yeah, live streaming. Mm -hmm. We were we, we were lucky to be among the first. Uh, we were the first company actually to conduct a professional Facebook live. As a company. Yes. All right. For your own company or for other companies? For for other companies. All for right. ourselves and for other companies. How many companies have you worked with so far? Uh, there are so many. Mm -hmm. uh, there are different brands that we have worked for, uh, and we thank them for supporting us. Yes, yes. Yeah. How much would you charge for an event to do live coverage? Probably for someone who's watching. For someone who's <laughs> even <laughs> if they come to you, it, it depends. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you, we can charge per hour or per day. Right. So it depends. According to your event. Brief. Yeah. According to event. Yeah, according to the event. Also, mm -hmm. it's about the value that you are you are looking for. So we'll charge you according to the value you want and also the, 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 the size mm -hmm. of the event. How, how, how do you take the business right now? How is it faring on? So is it money making or it's loss, it's profit? It depends at what level you mm -hmm. are at mm -hmm. because you can't just start and expect to just grow uh, overnight. Mm -hmm. So it's a step by step, but generally there are good seasons mm -hmm. and low seasons. Uh, and, and also it depends with the policies of a country and uh, the government and everything mm -hmm. and the environment also, choice of a place mm -hmm. and the choice of your target looking, uh, looking at the Looking at the demand and supply for your product or mm -hmm. rather for, for your company, mm -hmm. how, would you, how would you rate the demand? The demand In is the so high, uh -huh. the demand is so high, but the approach is the challenge. All right. For clients or for you? For, for for even the the, the 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 creators okay because the demand is so high mm -hmm. but where do do both of you meet like for now people are looking for authentic content mm -hmm. it's no longer about uh, buy this phone because it has a b c d you have to profile that product 
uh, according to the demographic you are targeting how does maybe if it's a phone how how good is it mm -hmm. serving a teenager or a business ex executive yeah what, what's your target who are, or rather who are prime, who are your prime targets my prime targets are uh -huh. corporates mm -hmm. uh, and public uh, figures and yes. influencers so you you let me be precise mm -hmm. you don't do pr no neither do you well, do marketing it's it's part just digi it's part of digital marketing right. it's part it touches pr it uh -huh. touches marketing All right but it's just a single unit mm -hmm. in the <coughs> wide uh, pr thing yes when you when you were talking about the way you launched into the marketplace mm -hmm. what are some of the some of the challenges that you went through when you are launching not even right now when yeah. you are launching out mm -hmm. when launching one of the main challenge was to get people to know what we are offering yes and also when you're starting people look at your experience mm -hmm. who have you have you worked with before how we how are we sure that we are not going to fail with this or are we going to succeed with this and it also with clients mm -hmm. and they look back uh, they look into the behavior of a certain industry like for example if you're a photographer most photographers are seen as you know if someone worked with a f with a maybe uh, not a, a good uh, not a very good timekeeper mm -hmm. they will tell you to be at an event an hour before mm -hmm. you'll be there an hour before just for the event to start three hours later because the photo the the previous photographer mm -hmm. or the previous failed person them. failed them mm -hmm. so you have to come and convince them that you're able to deliver quality on time uh, and professionally yes so one of the challenge again is when you're introducing something new mm -hmm. something that has not been there mm -hmm. it was a challenge introducing professional facebook live mm -hmm. but you, you 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 try and convince people but it's too late by yes. the time they're learning because you made an investment with the equipment mm -hmm. to do that so it's funny uh, like now in locally we are not consuming enough of virtual reality content uh -huh. yet that is the main thing that's going to change the industry uh -huh. like for example if you want to make a uh, you know con uh, construct a mall yes you have uh, 3d generated images uh, and you have your virtual reality mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh, glasses mm -hmm. and you're able to walk through mm -hmm. a mall before even it's you know Mm -hmm. it's it's done uh -huh. so it creates a, a little image like for example even selling tourism you can ha use a uh, virtual reality you go shoot masai mara in 360 degrees mm -hmm. and then like for example if you're having a conference uh, on tourism in new york you just go there and people will experience masai mara in new york right but it feels like you're uh -huh. in Masai Mara already. So, uh, when you mentioned that, uh, I'm prompted to come into the issue that you do. You told me that you do also do documentaries. Yes. You have done several, I believe so. You sure. What was one of your challenges when you were doing a documentary here locally in Kenya? Locally, um, I, I think the government has uh, worked to ease uh, the process of getting the permits and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but people are still... Uh, you know people are still not very camera friendly mm -hmm. uh, when you're with a camera you're walking in town or you're sh doing your something in town uh, i think it's not very friendly mm -hmm. so we, we need to ease in that uh, the other challenge is the stories you come across yes, on yes. location uh -huh. they're heartbreaking others you know you can come from a hundred percent joy to zero you find a very inspiring story, but mm -hmm. as you continue, there is another frustrating story. So it's a mix of reaction. You, you have done two documentaries from Cameroon mm -hmm. and Mogadishu. Mm -hmm. What led you to go to Mogadishu to do this documentary? So Mogadishu, I, I, I never thought of it. It's not something I planned. Was it something business-wise that you were looking it at? It was just an opportunity that came and I applied. You are not into business? I, at that moment, uh -huh. I was uh, I was doing freelance work. All right. 
so I was get I had networked, you know, you know, sent out my profile and mm -hmm. everything. And so an opportunity came. I didn't know where I was going, so I mm -hmm. received a call and I, the first thing when I met the the, the MG was mm -hmm. Are you ready to go to Mogadishu? I was like, Yeah. <laughs> sounded like a good adventure mm -hmm. so and it was the start of so many great things mm -hmm. because i first went there in june 2013. all right and when then you were beginning yes mm -hmm. so i had begun in 2010 mm -hmm. uh, three years down the line that's when i went to mogadishu all right so i was a lead consultant for Hong connect broadcasting service all right. so you've worked in a media house it was an right. agency. It, it was, was a news agency. agency. Right. So what we used to do is produce uh, news and documentaries mm -hmm. for major TV stations in the world. Was it really earning as per you'd anticipate? It was good because I had never earned as much by that time. All right. 2010. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> in 2013. 2013, yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it was a good start. And also it was a good exposure mm -hmm. and a good source of experience because uh, I was responsible of... Uh, uh, both technical and artistic, uh, uh, you know. I, I was responsible of technical um, part of uh, the images mm -hmm. and the transmission. So we were transmitting mm -hmm. signals to mm -hmm. uh, Al Jazeera, CCTV Africa, and editing hundreds of, you know, uh, yes, news yes. packages. Yes, you mentioned three things early on about mm -hmm. professionalism, mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. and quality. Mm -hmm. These are your three guiding principles at work? Sure. How, 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 do you, how do you bring these three together? Um, I bring them, them together because uh, first we understand mm -hmm. what does the client want. That's and the, the quality part of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and also get it, 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 it's a no round thing. Mm -hmm. It will touch on every part of All it. Right. So if you get the brief right, mm -hmm. then you'll be so you be you have a seamless you know production uh, pro, uh, in production, you have a seamless time in production. Yes, yes. Yeah. Pro probably for someone who is young and probably wants to venture into what you have ventured into, what would you advise in terms of like uh, marketing themselves? Mm -hmm. No one knows what you do. It's just you. Definitely, it's just an idea that you yeah, have. It's, it's until just it an idea. Out. Yeah, mm -hmm. it might be the most amazing idea mm -hmm. in the world, but if you don't put it out there, no one will know you exist. And even if you you're putting it out, put it regularly. Keep at it. Mm -hmm. The best brands keep on talking about themselves over and over again until it sticks on in one's mind and becomes part of your life. From a freelancer to now the CEO, mm -hmm. what would you say if someone asked you mm -hmm. your biggest challenge right now as a CEO? Finding employable staff. Finding employable staff. staff. Is the hardest thing. It's the hardest. You know, when you mention that, I'm thinking like we're talking about unemployment. Mm -hmm. And then you're saying finding employable staff. Why do you say that? Yeah. I don't think there is uh, a shortage of jobs. Or right. I think it's a shortage of employable people. Okay. Because uh, they, they, they come with uh, some expectations. Mm -hmm. Someone might be in need of a job yes. to create income. But when they come to your organization, they need to support your dream. And vision. And vision uh -huh. for it to generate uh, income that translates to their All right. uh, salary. So someone will just get a job mm -hmm. and they are promised of a certain amount of cash by the end of the month. So they relax. So the expectations and the products given, they mm -hmm. don't... Tell. Yeah, don't match. They don't match at all. Yeah. And it's very rare. Like in 10 people, we just find one, uh, one person will be able to you know, to understand your vision and uh, support you fully. So you, f according to you, the marketplace is not, is flocked with people who are not employable? Yeah. And, and that's why you get, mm -hmm. you, you, there are so many companies that will be making um, lots of income and changing mo uh, m most of people's lives, but because they have the wrong team. Uh, so the in, wrong in team in your company can yeah. lead to a mega loss? Yes. That's the key thing that I've noted from you, what yes, you said. Yes. What, how, how, what do, how do you deal with such kind of a person who comes to your company with such kind of an attitude? You will notice it uh, because you have been able to, you have come across other people who are like them. So you'll notice that. Uh, so you just need to take them through training, you know, 
-hmm. that's why there is a, you, you know even a probation period mm -hmm. before you sign up a, a longer term uh, contract mm -hmm. to be able to understand so it's also good for the employer to mm -hmm. be able to understand their staff it works both ways yes they are also good employees mm -hmm. but bad employers uh, who, all right yeah, so it's all of course fall, both sides it, yeah it's, it works both sides mm -hmm. you must give someone uh, some space to be creative and to express themselves in in terms of creativity mm -hmm. like in our creative industry it doesn't work the, it's not like engineering yes like uh, if you call positive and uh -huh. negative uh, positive goes with negative it's not very specific mm -hmm. so it's a creative work there is a different concept there is a different idea that everyone has mm -hmm. that can change uh, and, and bring more income to your business yes so you must give space to each and everyone to be able to express themselves looking at the industry currently mm -hmm. where do you stand as Mosmax? we stand at a very promising future mm -hmm. because uh, it's an industry that is not dying anytime soon yes so it's gonna be there for some time uh -huh. and the good thing is that people have started understanding and using our platforms to kind of put the, uh, put their brands out there mm -hmm. uh, and online and pen internet penetration in our country it's uh it's a is that is that stands at a good position yes uh, even if there is there is much more that needs to be done but i think we are at a good position because even when you look at the data, mm -hmm. YouTube is consumed, is the second, yes. like there's just one TV station that is ahead of YouTube. So meaning, and it, that's just in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So uh, I mean, uh, out of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And you know, out of Nairobi, there are internet challenges and everything. Mm -hmm. But in Nairobi, YouTube leads in terms of uh, viewership. All right, looking at some of the companies you've worked with, I see Lifeboy, mm -hmm. KCB, mm -hmm. How does it feel having worked with such kind of companies? Does it give you the morale to keep on moving on? Yeah, it gives you, but yeah. it's lots of work to get to convince such mm -hmm. big brands who have been in the in their uh, respective industries for a long time, mm -hmm. and they have met each and every kind of supplier. So convincing them to be able to take on their project mm -hmm. and them accepting, it, it's, it's, a, it's not just a good thing, but a blessing. When working with KCB, mm -hmm. or rather these big, let me not mention the name, when working with these big companies, mm -hmm. do you feel like it's becoming more of challenging because it demands something quality? Each and every, that question, mm -hmm. uh, I understand where it comes from. Mm -hmm. Because uh, many suppliers yes. give quality mm -hmm. selectively. Like, because it's a big brand, oh, then I need to have the best camera. It doesn't work like that. Okay. You should serve mm -hmm. the minority the way you would serve the majority. Why? Because the minority are growing towards being the majority. But the majority right. have already hit the senile stage. They can never grow anymore. Yes. So they are there just to mm -hmm. sustain themselves and uh, to be on the balance so that they don't go down but there is no space to grow more. Mm -hmm. Or even if there is, they will not grow as much as those small uh, and medium companies are growing. Well, so you need to serve everyone equally. Equally. Yeah. And when you mention that, I'm prompted to, to ask this. Mm -hmm. If I come with my company I'm just beginning mm -hmm. and I want you to do some services for me, mm -hmm. would you charge the same way you charge such kind of companies? I, I, I charge according to what you're looking for. All right. So you, we can't charge for a CEO profile. It can't be the same like covering a conference. All right. So it depends with the brief. Uh -huh. But if they came for the same thing, mm -hmm. that would be the same rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's about the value you're giving. Mm -hmm. It's not about who you're serving. It's the value that you're giving. Mm -hmm. So you're selling your value. Yeah. For corporate events, what precisely do you, do you look at? We, we, a good brief. A good brief? Yes. That, that entails, like, for instance? Uh, entails each and every, you know, like each and every step of production mm -hmm. you must uh, tell us what you're looking for what are your target audience uh, what are the platforms that you want your content to be to be to be live mm -hmm. uh, and things like that what new do you think you're bringing on board we are bringing uh, a, a fresh range of ideas yes that targets 
each demographic mm -hmm. uh, on a, differently. Because before, we used to have like, uh, let's say like a general, general content yes. for different demographics. Mm -hmm. Yet, mm -hmm. uh, this is not uh, the way to, to do marketing or even to put up content. Because each and every demographic is different and mm -hmm. consumes things differently. Yes. Yeah. Probably just when you're looking at a shooting location for your events, mm -hmm. what precisely do you look at and do you value the cost more than that place itself? We value the... If the end results mm -hmm. are favorable yes. and are excellent, They'll be able to cover the cost. In terms of your needs? In terms of our needs, mm -hmm. uh, it also depends with the budget mm -hmm. of the client. Mm -hmm. So we ask the client, what are you comfortable with? Mm -hmm. Then we can be able to curate uh, a, 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 a brief that is, well, is th that is directly, that can match the budget of the client. So we'll, be, we'll give the best of the client's budget. And if it's way below what we can be able to produce, mm -hmm. then we, 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 we just say then we can't be able to pick up something that won't work for you and for us. Do you think money is the leading point no. in the beginning of any company? It's not. Uh -huh. we, it's just the idea uh -huh. and the target result. All right. If the idea is right and the target result, and you get the target result, yes. they are partnership. They are people who can be able to approach and they will support your vision. You mentioned something that's quite, quite critical, especially for young people, mm -hmm. partnership. It's yes. quite a challenge to most young people right yeah, now. Yeah. How did you get to partner with companies and yet you're still young, I believe so? Mm -hmm. How did you get to do that? Well, partnership starts by mm -hmm. networking or talk to as many people as possible and there you'll be able to get the right people to partner with. Mm -hmm. And you'll find someone who has a certain resource mm -hmm. and you have a certain skill. Mm -hmm. So for you, you're looking to have that equipment because you have a skill. Yes. And you're looking to have that equipment. So why don't I go and approach someone mm -hmm. who has the equipment but doesn't have the skill? Mm -hmm. And then we come together, work towards the projects, with the returns that you are going to get, work on more uh, on getting more equipment and developing our skills. Right. So by the end of the day, you have uh, a place mm -hmm. or an entity that serves the purpose, uh, the respective purpose that you want to. Yes, I want us to look at your Instagram page. Uh, uh, sure. Apparently, I, ha I happen to see that you've got someone that you've been really working on, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's your Instagram page. Yeah. So you do photography for events, even for musicians? Sure, those are, part, uh, those are some of the uh, influential people that we have been able to work with. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, profiling their content yes. on Instagram and YouTube. All right. So among them are Janet Bugwa, Jeff Kuria, and uh, working on different projects, like there's this project called Better for Kenya. Mm -hmm. We were able to work with King Kaka, right. Delo Nyango. Mm -hmm. Also other influences uh, like she, Sheila, Linda. Mm -hmm. Let, let's have a look at this picture. There's this one that uh, looks like a city. Mm -hmm. How did you take even that's, manage to take that shot? That's uh, Nakuru, uh -huh. Matatu Terminus. All right. So that's a, that picture, mm -hmm. you can see there's a certain order mm -hmm. with the Matatus from an, uh, an aerial view. view. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we captured that with a drone. Mm -hmm. uh, that picture communicates uh -huh. that it might, there might, you see, uh -huh. when you're walking, yes. like through that terminus, mm -hmm. you might think that it's chaotic. Mm -hmm. It's chaotic, but from top, you see some order. Yes. You see how the matatus are packed, how people are able to walk. Mm -hmm. But when you are walking, it's very chaotic. So <laughs> <laughs> you can see the power of an image able yes. to put different, two different perspectives. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm prompted to ask something about drones because I understand they're still illegal to be used in the country. Mm -hmm. oh, is this quite one of the biggest challenges that you guys are facing in the industry because we, you have tried to advocate for it? Yeah. I think um, on t in terms of droning in Kenya, uh -huh. the problem is yes. if it's legalized, mm -hmm. some people might use it for 
might might use it wrongly, mm -hmm. might abuse yes. the use of drones, All right. like spying on other people's homes and everything. All right. But that's why, if you are content creator, mm -hmm. you have to go check with the security yes. and have you and have you cleared to use it. What purpose are you intending to use it for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, because of time, you'll allow, us, you'll allow us to finish from there. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, I want you to share your Instagram pages and, of course, your social media platforms mm -hmm. to the people who are watching. So I'm on Instagram as Mos Moniki. Uh, there's also that corporate part of Mos Max Media Group. But my name is Mos Moniki across all social media handles. Yes. Yeah. All right, sawa, sawa. Yeah. Thanks so very much for making it here. Yeah. And really appreciate, appreciate even for sharing with us your ideas and how you came up all the way. Yeah. That has been Moss Max, so. the CEO. And it's great to have Moss Moniki. He's the CEO of Moss Max. Uh, I know that Barry and Joy are coming along. So don't go anywhere. Keep it Y254. See you in a few.